Of course. What's on your mind? Appreciate it. We've been on the road together for a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. But through all that crap, I notice you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no... Well, you're the first to earn it. Starts with two ways of human. I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. Sure, sure. Just keep your shirt on. Hey, <laughs> you got a second? I got something I want to say to you. Of course. What's on your mind? Appreciate it. We've been on the road together for a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. But through all that crap, I notice you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. I appreciate your trust. Well, you're the first to earn it. It all starts with two ways of humanity, I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit because they never kicked me out. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. 18 years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. My God. I'm so sorry. Thanks, but there is more to the story. It would be easy to blame me charm and personality on me parents, but they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of me goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they used me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. I can't even imagine having to go through something like that. You think that's low? Just wait. The story gets much worse. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. Sounds like justice to me. Was it justice? Or was it murder? When I close me eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl. I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your perusal. Hey, I'm proud of you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this. But I never expected you to say you were proud of me. I... I think I needed to hear that from you. Thank you. 
I'm always here for you, Kate. There's nothing you could say that would ever change that. Oh, uh, I, well, that's, that's not what I expected you to say. Sorry, I didn't realize you cared that much about me. And here I thought I was being stupid bothering you with me problems. It feels good to know if I need you, you'll be there for me. And I'll always be there for you too. Hey there. I'd still like to have that talk. Do you have time now? I always have time to listen to you, Kate. Good. Because this isn't easy for me to say, and I want to get it right. Where do I begin? Did you know I spent three years fighting at the combat zone? Three years of getting beaten to hell by a bunch of losers and lunatics. After the matches were over, I'd spit out the blood, stitch me wounds, and do a couple of shots of Psycho to keep me going. I fucking hated it. I hated the crowds, I hated the other fighters, and I hated myself. I never understood why I put myself through all that. Until now. It was because I was alone. And I think deep down, I wanted to die. I wanted one of my opponents to crush the life out of me. The easy way out. Well, that's the past. You're not alone anymore. Then maybe you know what I'm trying to say to you. My life's been nothing but one huge failure after another. You've heard all my stories, and you know the prices I've paid. There were a few times when things got really bad that I... I found myself staring down the barrel of my own shotgun. I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger. I guess I was praying that I could find a single decent scrap of humanity in this fucked up world. And then... What you did for me back there at Fog 95... It was like the answer to those prayers. That's the first time in me life I fully depended on someone else, and they didn't let me down. God damn it, I'm making a mess of this. It's all right, Kate. Let it all out. I'll be fine. I just need to be getting to the point. The longer we've been spending time together, the more I'm beginning to realize what you mean to me. And I'm not just talking about you watching me back or sharing a drink together. I mean more than that. Before we met, I'd never let me guard down around anyone. I didn't dare. But with you, I feel like I can let you in and see me for everything that I am. For better or for worse. Look, I can't go back to the way things were before we met. I won't. But what I need you to do is look me in the eyes and tell me you feel something too. Of course I do. I'm in love with you, Kate. You... you're what? You said... You're in love with me. I... I didn't know. I mean, I felt something between us, but I thought it was something else. Why? Why would you fall in love with someone as screwed up as I am? To tell you the truth, we're both a little screwed up. Perfect match for one another. I can't argue with that. This has to be the first time I put all my cards on the table and didn't end up losing everything. You don't know how much this means to me. To have someone special in my life, I promise you, I mean to make the most of it. Alright guys, welcome to set 4, let's play Fallout 4. So you can log into my map quickly so I can show you where I'm at. <clears throat> okay, we're at Vault 95. Um, this set is going to pertain specifically to this vault and the Silver Shroud quest. I will probably do more after that, but those are the ones I want to get done now. Uh, before we do that, though, I'm going to say what I did off screen. Um, before this part uh, plays, there should be a little bit of a cutscene with Kate. Um, basically, me flirting with her and whatnot. So, yeah. Um, all I did off screen, really, was explore around a little bit, add a little bit more to my, uh, my base. And that is really about it. Um, haven't done anything major, but still did... Uh, a lot of exploration, a lot of fun shit like that. So, we're here at Vault 95, which is the bottom left-hand corner, right near Somerville Pal or Place, Scrap Palace, Color Band, yada 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 yada. Uh, there's a reason why we're here, which you'll see in a second. Now, we're going to have a relatively weird cutscene, because I want high charisma, so I need to equip a few outfits that just boost my charisma, such as Agatha's dress and the formal hat. 
Do I have anything that increases charisma as a drink? I do not. So, fun shit. Let's do a quick hard save. It's always good to have those. Let's save over this. I did discover something interesting. Uh, some of you may have noticed this already. But if you go to Diamond City during Christmas time in game, November 26th, 25th, it'll actually be decked out Christmas decorations. It surprised the hell out of me. I also bought a house there, which I'll explain in a few moments. Hey, point out what you need and I'll get right on it. <clears throat> Quit stalling. I need you to help me. Please. Anything you need, Kate. I was hoping you'd say that. We're friends now, which means I can trust you with anything. I'm also hoping it means you've got me back. Because I need it now more than ever. I'm... I'm sick. And I don't think I can hide it from you anymore. Okay, calm down and take a deep breath. If you're sick, I want to help you. Okay, okay. It's like this. Ever since I left home, I've been using Psycho. I don't know why I'm still taking that crap, but I can't stop. And believe me, I've tried. I can't even go a day without it anymore, and I'm fucking sick and tired of it. I've even been doing it behind your back. Sneaking doses when I think you aren't looking. Worst of all, it's been making me sick. I've been spitting blood, and I don't feel right inside. I need to get this shite out of me system before I wind up dead. Tell me how we can clean you up. Well, there might be a way, but it's not gonna be easy. There's supposed to be a vault somewhere out here. A place called Vault 95. I've heard that Vault Tech used it for some kind of social experiment. Stuck a bunch of junkies inside to poke and prod. Well, they supposedly had some special method to clean up those blokes in there. Some kind of a machine or something. If we could get inside, maybe that machine could help me. No problem. We'll get you there. I can't believe how kind you're being to me, even when I'm letting you down. Look, I don't want you to think I'm some kind of low-life junkie. A stupid girl who's harming herself for no good reason. From one friend to another, all I'm asking is for your help. When you're ready, take me out to Vault 95 and help me put an end to me pain. And that's why we're here. That's where we equip our armor. <laughs> Because uh, we don't need that boost anymore. Oop. Alrighty then. <clears throat> Quick save. Let's continue. Oop. Didn't mean to turn that off. Uh, anything up here with while? FY outside is protected by a bunch of raiders and assault trons, so be ready. All right, down we go. <clears throat> now I have a shit ton of ammo for my rifle, by the way, so don't be surprised when you see it. Oh, hey. All right, let's go. Holy fuck. That... Lock and load. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> right? What's in here? Funaba! Aha! Load hull tape, turret. There'll be a guide about this, by the way, to, finding, to find this. Okay, what we want to do... More targeting function, huh? Um... Override. Alright, so here's what they do. Um... I found this in the Wildwood Cemetery. I should already have a video up about where to find these. Um, 
basically what this allows me to do is I can put this into any terminal that's connected to a turret and either cause them all to target everything, turn us into the admin so they'll attack everything else, or cause them to explode when they fire a bullet. But we turn them to attack their friends. So now, it's an all-out war. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck off, you Assaultron! That's gonna hurt. I know, right? <laughs> There's Mr. Gutsy. Where's the next one? <laughs> Good luck, mate. All right. Anything else? See anything else? That. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I love that turret or override. You get so many options to play with. Ooh, hello. Hi, bitch. Oh. And fire. Alright, they're all over in that direction. Good to know. Hi! Oh, that's right! <laughs> um, I came here before. This hallway had uh, grenades hanging from the ceiling. If you go near them, one of the grenades drop, causes them all to explode. Hey, here's one of the uh, cords. So, yeah. Thank you for disarming your own trap for me, bitch. Alright. So, yeah, this place was, um... Test, was the test for, was the, um... Attack while with this. Basically, they were given, they were thrown in, uh, perfectly fine. Then later on, they were given drugs, and they were tested to see how long <clears throat> things last. That was the basic premise of the test here. Reset, thank you. Mouse. Okay. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> Miss Gorders. Journal entry. Okay. Whoop. Get fucked. Get fucked, bitch. Have that. God, I love these grenades. Here's a bobblehead, which I'll save for my recording later on. Holy fuck, I atomized the bitch. Alright, let's, uh... Break it to Vault 95, we did. Pick this. I think I'm looking for a machine or something like what we had with QA. Okay. I hear them getting shit faced on drugs. Right. <clears throat> what the 
Okay, what's down here? Hello? No, jeez! No memory of this! Okay. Pretty interesting, I guess. Agreed. I've been in Vault 95 before, but I never found this place before. Oh, hi. Bye bye. <laughs> ah, physics. Are you done with the Molotovs? <laughs> Fucking headshot! Alright. Hola, como estas? Let me in! Have a nice sharp bayonet to shove up your ass. Breaking my, my bobby pins, motherfucker. There we are. Got it. Yeah, I know you like that. Okay. Ooh, hello. <sighs> Sweet. Did all that. <laughs> Don't see anything of importance in here, so let's continue on upwards. <clears throat> all right. We're back at the surface. We are. What the fucker? So, where the fuck is this thing I need for her? You told me to go back to the surface. I don't I don't want to do that. I haven't explored over here yet. Look at a master hacker. Personality with one. Another one. Zero. <laughs> Has the uh the, the emoticon face. With dud. Dud removed. More duds. I want to re reboot on my thing. God damn it. More duds. Fuck. I don't have to worry about it. I might just get rid of them all. Okay. I don't know. This? Nope. Wait for a few minutes. Might be able to get a pass key up in the uh, overseer's office. <clears throat> All 
Alright. A lot of coffee. Sitting around and telling everyone else my problems isn't my idea of fun. I know, I know. Over to this terminal. <clears throat> Unlock. Okay, there's the unlock. Wait, did I, did I do it right? I was locking it, never mind. Okay. So they had the whole intervention like, my name is Tim, I'm a drug addict. Apologize for anyone out there named Tim. So I thought I heard something. All right, what do we have over here? What? Hmm. Ah, great. Who's there? Oh, water. That better water. We're hot. What? Fuck you! Wow, full health kill. <clears throat> Had a cough. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> I love doing that. Just throwing in a grenade and closing the door. Ooh. Trying to make friends here. Y'all up there, aren't ya? You got the dicks. Let's see here. Oh, hello. Hey, buddy. Have a spoil of tea, are we? Scare the fuck out of me, bitch. Now you're dead. Oh. Ah, legendary. Those are fun. Get fucked. Bingo. Hmm, junkie. Oh God. Okay, I'm gonna mention something funny about this. <clears throat> Legendary character creatures or monsters, upon us, what do you want to call them? <clears throat> drop a randomized weapon based off of not off the where they're, where they're at. <clears throat> Junkie, I have just as much of a chance of getting this as I would in, say, a legendary drop at a hospital. <clears throat> or well it's still kind of sending. Or at sanctuary, or any place that there's a legendary possible spawn. So the fact that I got a junkie combat rifle in an area, or in a vault, specifically designated to getting people stoned off their ass is absolutely hilarious. <clears throat> okay. What do we have here? Oh, get fucked! I love the one-shot explosion kill. It's so much fun. <clears throat> Who's shooting me? Oh, hi! Alright, open. Just get rid of you. <clears throat> 